But they graduated in 1940, I believe, 39 or 40, he and George. And Ted had joined the National Guard. Uh, they had gone to uh, summer camp and stuff. And uh, in 41, when they came back, he was going to get out of the Guard. And uh, they went ahead and mobilized him. And uh, he then stayed in the Army and... Uh, he served with uh, the Third Army in Europe, was with Patton down on the, uh, getting ready to cross into Germany when the Battle of the Bulge came along. My dad had a construction job down uh, near Ehaw Junction into a ranch. We were building a road into the ranch. I was in high school and uh, I had gone down for the Christmas vacation to work with him, and uh, we were down there. Of course, the only there were no television back then. We did have a radio, and over the radio they were describing that the Germans had counterattacked and all this, and uh, we knew our. Uh, my brother Ted was over there at the time, and uh, we were pretty stressed out about the thing. Uh, my brother George, after he got out of high school, he had gone to college, and he was up at the University of Florida, and uh, he joined the Marines. And I guess went through their B-12 program and uh, was a second lieutenant. He was in the uh, 3rd Marine Division. And they landed uh, in Iwo Jima on about the third day. He uh, sent me a letter. And in the letter, there was a picture of a Japanese girl. And on the back of it, he told me... Uh, this was taken off a dead chap on Bloody Evo. <clears throat> My brother Ned, uh, he was a few years younger, five years older than me, but uh, he was in the Air Corps and was a gunner in the Air Corps. He flew on uh, B-24s out of Italy in the 15th Air Force and uh, they bombed Germany and everything. Uh, here, a few years ago at a reunion, Ned was telling me that he saw the first jet airplane. The uh, Germans had come out with jets in World War II, and he said the rate of closure was about 800 miles an hour, and to try to get them in the sights and shoot at them was pretty, pretty hard. And he said, uh, I didn't realize, but those guys were trying to kill me. <laughs> but uh, they all three survived the war and, and uh, came back home, thank goodness. So let me ask you, Ned, was Ned, do you know if he was in uh, Operation Tidal Wave, the Polesti uh, oil fields in Romania? Yeah, he said that uh, they bombed the oil fields in uh, Palesti, and uh, on one of the missions, his plane was shot up, and they had to make an emergency landing in uh emergency strip in Yugoslavia. Uh, there several airplanes had crash-landed there, and uh, they sent a C-47 in to pick them up, uh, he was a ball turret gunner underneath the belly of the B-24, and also he was the aerial photographer. He took photos of the uh, bomb strikes so they could uh, uh, assess the bomb damage after the mission. He had his uh, film with him. And he said, this uh, officer said there wasn't enough room for everybody on the airplane. He said, well, I'll take that back for you. And he said, no, this is my ticket home. So uh, he got priority of getting on the airplane to get back to Italy. Uh, 